Hi everyone, it's Claire. Welcome back to another Web Dev Wednesday. This week we are continuing our discussion on essential HTML elements, basically just the first HTML tags you should learn when you're learning to code on the web. So this week we're covering lists and we're learning three new elements. UL, which stands for unordered list, OL, which is ordered list, and within these two there's a sub-element called the list item, which is just an LI. And they're pretty self-explanatory once you get to using them, so we're just going to hop right in and start start using them. I have the beginnings of a little web page here, just HTML lists. I'll show you what it looks like before we put the lists in. I'm going to do two lists. Um, and we're going to start with an unordered list right here. So you just put in your OL. Brackets will close it for me. And then all you have to do, I, I only tab it over so it looks nice and it's organized. You don't have to tab it over. It's just a good practice to do so. And within the LI, you put your content. It's very straightforward. And once you learn it, you never forget. And it's not too confusing. <laughs> Getting too excited here. I'm like singing. There's no LI in this song. I did it again, would you look at that? I wonder if my video will get muted if I put this song in. <laughs> okay. We're gonna save that, all our list items are here. We have the opening ordered list and opening, or and closing order list. I don't know if I said order or unordered, but it's ordered. And as you see, when it's an ordered list, the numbers are here. And we're gonna do an unordered list over here just to demonstrate the difference there. So we just put our UL and instead of writing this all out, I'll show you if you have like a list or a bunch of text somewhere in another document that you want to get in your um, on your website, but it's formatted in HTML, you can copy and paste it. That's fine. And you can add the LI. It's going to be a little bit annoying on brackets because of my settings. I have it set to auto close like this, but a little fix in brackets if you have these settings is to just put all the closing tags in first and then it won't auto close it, 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 it can tell there's a closing tag at the end of the line see easy and actually what we're gonna do with the bottom half of this list is do it as a sub list so let's say that these up here, these are a few of our favorite things in no particular order, they're unordered. But down here, we want an ordered list because these things say that brown paper packages had these things in them or something. So we're going to do an ordered list just to show how that would look on the page. save and we will refresh our page over here. So as you can see, the unordered list just has bullet points and you can style these differently using CSS or images, but the default is just these filled disks. And then you see over here, our sub list flows right into it, but it uses the numerals over here. And if you decide, actually, you know what? These are, I want these to be numbered and then these are, no, no, I want these in no particular order. Rick Astley is never going to do any of these. None are, no precedence here. But over here, these are my favorite things in order. You can just change the OL and the UL, just change them around. Because the list item is going to be the same element no matter what, it'll just swap them. No problem. Anyway, guys, that's all we got to talk about with the list. So it's pretty straightforward. And something that's really good to, it's an, a reason that it's good to know lists is that these days, a lot of navigation menus on websites are usually 
formatted like this. They're gonna be in an unordered list, which is bullet points that you typically would remove. You'd remove the styling and you can put links. Our A tag that we talked about last week, you'll put that inside of your list item as the navigation link and then you can style your navigation as a list. But that's a discussion for another time. I just wanted to give you first the brief overview of the HTML so we can learn to use them in our websites later. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll talk to you all next week.